Here you see a reaction which uh, if you are not familiar with redox reaction this is a question to ask is it a redox reaction? So what we are going to do first is to assign oxidation number. Okay, How do we do that? Uh, there are some rules that should be taught in class last week. You should know that. If you don't know, just pay attention right here. This is a monatomic ion. There's a charge. In this case, in this case is it is three plus. What we are going to do is to use the charge to become the oxidation number. Okay. Now the way to write this is different. When we write charge, we use a number followed by a sign, positive or negative. When we write oxidation number, it is always a sign followed by a number. Okay, then that in that way we can differentiate what are we writing? Are we writing charge or are we writing oxidation numbers? Now a lot of people get these two confused. They look alike. They they mean something similar. They have to do with electrons. How do we know the difference? Well. For charge, it is created because of the difference between the protons and the electrons. Okay, we learned that in first semester. You should know that now. Oxidation number. Oxidation number is just a system. It's like a bookkeeping system. It's like accounting. And what do we do with oxidation number? Is to keep track of electrons. We want to know how many electrons is being lose. Uh, being lost or how many electrons is being gained throughout the reaction. So that's the purpose. So please do not confuse these two. If it is just a simple compound with only one element, it is stable, we are going to use zero. Okay. Same case here. Zero. This is a monatomic ion. The, charge, the value of the charge is going to be the, the oxidation number, so plus 2. Okay, So we assign all the oxidation number for different elements and then you ask, okay, so how do we know which one's being oxidized and which one's being reduced? Okay, so let's find out. And after we assign every single oxidation number, we analyze. Okay, what do we analyze? We analyze for the element. So let's look at chromium. So for chromium, from the reactant side, the oxidation number is plus 3. On the right, it is 0. So it is going down from positive 3 to 0. And whenever we see a negative change, or whenever we see the oxidation number going down, it is known as reduction. Okay? And let's look at PB, lead. It is 0 on the left, plus 2 on the right. So it's going from 0 up to positive 2 and when we see a positive change in oxidation number it is oxidation and remember reduction and oxidation they must happen at the same time okay they must they must happen at the same time they cannot go alone okay if you only see a reduction not an oxidation or just an oxidation without a reduction something is wrong so go back and check your oxidation number and do the analysis again okay so this is how we determine which one is being oxidized and which one is being reduced okay now let's move on a little bit and we hear two terms Okay, let me, let's move uh, on the left. So let me draw a line right here. So we hear two terms. 
first term is known as the oxidizing agent. Oops. Oxidizing agent. And the other one is known as the reducing agent. Okay, what are these two agents? What do they do? Now, a lot of people getting these two confused because it is like the opposite. So let me explain what happened. So what an oxidizing agent do is to help another compound being oxidized. In other words, it means it helps another compound to lose electron. In order to help another compound to lose electron, the agent itself is going to gain electron. So, when we talk about oxidizing agent, it is actually the element that's being reduced. Okay? And in this case, since we know that chromium carries out the reduction, the oxidizing agent in this case is chromium. Okay, chromium 3 plus helps another compound or another element to lose electron. And who does it help? Well, from the equation, this is the oxidizing agent. It helps lead to lose electron. Now, let's look at the second term, reducing agent. Well, reducing agent means that it helps another compound to reduce. And in this case, it helps chromium to reduce and itself would be oxidized. Therefore, reducing agent is Pb, lead. Okay. So here is how we define oxidation agent and reducing agent. So from this video you should know how to identify which element is being which element or compound is being reduced and oxidized, how to tell, and you should know how to assign oxidation number, do an analysis of the oxidation number, and then understanding the meaning of oxidizing agent and reducing agent. Last, you should understand that reducing agent reduction and oxidation, they must happen at the same time. They cannot separate each other, okay?